Hello friends, hello everybody. I appreciate y'all checking in. And today is a great day because I'm a small guy in this whole YouTube thing, but I actually reached 100 subscribers this morning and I'm very, very proud that all y'all are, you know, actually watching me. And actually, you know, some of y'all are enjoying what I'm talking about. So I appreciate that. I'm going to give a special shout out to the new subscribers and to this guy for being number 100. And thank you, man. And you had a lot of questions, and I appreciate it, and I hope I answered all of them. And if I didn't, just go ahead and hit me another message, and I'll get right back to you. But today I want to talk about something we all must have in our regimen if this working out thing is going to work for us, and that's protein. I don't usually talk about it because it's just been overdone so much. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do a little bit on it, this topic at the moment. So, okay, you got your whey protein concentrates, you got your isolates, and you got your hydrosolates, which we're not even going to cover because that's just that's out of my price range. I don't feel like paying that much for that type of protein. But we're going to talk about the concentrates and the isolates. So right here, just the current one I'm using after my workout is a Dimatize Elite Whey Protein Isolate. Vanilla, not my favorite uh, flavor by any means, but that's all they had on the shelf. Now this cost a little bit more, say this was about $28, almost 30 bucks for this container. But Dimatize makes some excellent protein in my opinion. First protein I was taking when I first started this thing. And the taste is great. That's what really got me hooked. I had a couple before Dimatize and I couldn't even get them down. And then when I tried this, I was like, yeah, that's excellent tasting. So let me stay with it. But if you guys don't understand, reading the contents of what makes a good protein is the bioavailability and that's how it absorbs into your body but when you read the ingredients you want to make sure the first ingredient is whey protein isolates that's the most abundant source in the packaging and that's what you want to read if the first thing says sugar you're getting more sugar than anything if the first thing says some type of gum something that's the, that's the most thing you're going to get out of your product so the first thing you want to see on the package is a protein and this one says ion exchange whey protein isolates cross flow ultra filtration whey protein concentrates in there a little bit but it's second to the isolate so I know I'm getting more isolate than concentrate and a whole bunch of other stuff you know fillers it's hard to have a pure protein source in one of these powders so that's my post workout but just in the meantime like before I go to work or before bed or in between meals, I'll take a protein concentrate. Now, this doesn't absorb as fast as an isolate, but you can see in the ingredients, it says ultra premium whey protein blend. So there's different types of protein. So it's got protein concentrate and it's got isolates in it, but the concentrate is more of the source in this. And it's got an advanced recovery blend, creatines in there, monohydrate, uh, taurine, HCI, L-leucine, L-valine, L-glutamine, and this is a this is a pretty nice package deal. This is only ten bucks at Walmart. Uh, tastes good. I mean, you can mix it with water. That's how I determine what a good protein tastes like. If you can mix it with water and it tastes good, that's a good tasting protein. If you got to have milk to make it taste good, that's a bad tasting protein, in my opinion. But uh, this is pretty good. This is only nine dollars for this. Probably get like. 10 servings and I only use one scoop in between meals uh, throw some uh, carb mix in it just to get it, me a fuller but I can uh, I can honestly tell you guys taking this after your workout you can tell it absorbs faster because you get hungry quicker because it's broken down more this the ice is broken down more so it absorbs faster so your body doesn't have to do all the work as much work so it gets to your muscles faster this stuff, I could take it with my carb after my with my carb uh, source, and I'm full for about an hour afterwards. You know, not even thinking about eating. It just kind of sits there. It, it's it's faster than uh, casing, but it digests a lot slower. I'm gonna go ahead and do a little experiment just to show you guys the difference of quality between these two products. So let me get you set up. Now I'm gonna try to make this as clean as possible. I might have to do some editing, but I'm only one person doing this. So if the camera angle gets all crazy, please forgive me. But let's take a look at these proteins. 
Here's the diamond ties. Zoom in on that. If you could look, you could see how just finely powdered and ground up that is. It's really thin, real powder substance. Over here with the uh, concentrate, you can already tell how clumpy it is. So there's a difference already just in the quality of the substance itself. Now let's say I drop a little bit of this into this water. Now these waters are even, they're both at room temperature, so it's the same water. So nothing's different on this. So let's try it. Try not to make a mess. Put this in here. Let's put it all in there. Okay. Now right there, you can see it's kind of sitting. Just say this this is your stomach. And those are your acids in there. So let's stir this thing up. All right. Let's wait a little bit. It's a pretty clear mixture. I know it's vanilla. We can't see too much. But you can kind of tell that that's mixing pretty damn good. Turn it around. I'll stir it a couple more times. Got a little clump on the top there. What to be expected. Nice mixture though. Nice and clean. Now, let's do the same with the concentrate. Nice. Put it in there. Okay. It's probably easier to see because it's chocolate. And let's stir that up. Now you can see the clumps floating in there. You can see that. See, that's what happens when it goes into your stomach. Now that's probably the uh, concentrate blend and all that stuff. And it's just. You can see the chunks floating in there. Not as much as the way isolate. A lot more actually. And it's just going to the bottom. And that's what happens in your stomach. This stuff kind of sits and it has to be digested by your intestinal tract and all your acids. And that's why you stay fuller longer. But that, that's how long it takes for that to get broke down and put into your uh, system. So that's why the isolate's a lot better. Let's go with the isolate again. See? Clumps are minimal. Minimal. So yes, this is a test. Let's go with the concentrate again. You can see the clumps. That's the quality. That's what you're paying for. You're paying for whey isolate, which will dissolve a lot faster in your system and get to your muscles faster. And it's a high quality protein and you pay for the concentrate, yeah, it's not the greatest. It's good, but you get what you pay for. It's good in between meals, you know, when you don't need the protein as quick as possible to flood to your muscles. So, depends on what you guys want to pay for. Just a quick experiment, just to let y'all see the difference of the quality between two different types of proteins, if you had any questions on it. So I hope that helped y'all out a little bit. If you had any questions between those two types of proteins and what you should be looking for and why they react differently in your system. And I can honestly tell you, you do a workout and take whey protein isolate and next time take a concentrate, you'll see the difference in the hunger that you'll get. It's faster because it dissolves way faster in your system. It absorbs faster in your system. So I want to thank y'all again. It's the end of this episode, and uh, once again, I'm just really excited about getting to 100. I know there's YouTubers out there with thousands of, of subscribers, and that's fine. But me being small time, and that's all I can be at this moment, I'm very excited, and I appreciate you guys for watching. See y'all next time.